Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our webinar on recent advances, challenges, and opportunities in aquaculture. I am Daniel Varias, a science research specialist one of the VIP program, and I will be moderating this morning session. This webinar is in part of the Virology and Vaccine Institute of the Philippines, or the VIP's information and education campaign on virology and other related topics. This learning session is made possible by the collaborative efforts of DOSC Central Office, DOSC ITBI, DOSC PCHRD, DOSC PCARD, and DOSC Balik Scientist Program. I am sure that everyone here is excited to learn. Am I right? Just a reminder for our Zoom participants, kindly rename your Zoom account to this format underscore um, company name underscore full name for example DOSC ITBI underscore one A de la Cruz. Also don't forget to mute your microphones. Thank you. Okay for everyone who is attending this uh, webinar please comment down your affiliations and let me just acknowledge some of you. Again, for our Zoom participants, um, we would like you to comment down your affiliations through our chat box so that we can acknowledge you. Oh, we have, hello, good morning, Mr. Uh, Nico Leander from Before 3. Hello, sir. Thank you for attending our webinar. Hello, good morning. Good morning to you as well, Mr. Christian Bala from RTU. Oh, we also have from VFAR02 participants in our um, Zoom meeting. Thank you very much for attending. So uh, before we begin our lecture, let us first watch a video for us to know more about this new institute under the Department of Science and Technology. from the then Bureau of Government Laboratories, which became the Bureau of Science, the Department of Science and Technology, Industrial Technology Development Institute, or the OST ITDI, turned 119 years old on July 1, 2020. From basic researches to mapping of the country's flora and fauna, and other local resources for scientific study, the OST ITDI has been a vital instrument in establishing the research and development agenda in the country. It was 1958 when the Bureau of Science became the National Institute of Science and Technology, NIST, that industrial R&D started gaining ground while harnessing local resources and skills towards self-sufficiency and optimized productivity. Industrial R&D went full gear in 1987 when the NIST was renamed Industrial Technology Development Institute, focusing on four major functions, research and development, technical services, technology transfer, and custodian of the national units of measure to provide international traceability. 
USDITDI research and development covers five major areas. Food. Environment and biotechnology. Chemicals and energy. Material science. And packaging technology. program on the establishment of Virology and Vaccine Institute of the Philippines, or VIP as we commonly call, was conceptualized to address the pandemic readiness of the country. The objectives of the program are, one, serve as the premier research and development institute in the field of virology, encompassing all areas in viruses and viral diseases in humans, plants, and animals. Two, Act is a venue for scientists, both here and abroad, to work collaboratively to study viruses of agricultural, industrial, clinical, and environmental importance. And three, establish strategic partnerships with the world's leading scientists, virology centers, and institutes, and conduct innovative and pioneering research that will advance the frontiers of virology in 